So, so in this video, we are going to see uh, how the free frames, how the frames in the main memory are allocated to uh, various process. So the first question which arises, we have the frames, how these frames are going to be allocated in the, for the process, because there may be many process which will be residing in the main memory. One may be a big process, another may be a small process, medium process, how the frame, what logic the operating system uses to allocate memory for this process. That is what we are going to see in this video. So each process needs some minimum number of pages. So for example, if a user process is 10 KB, at least 10 uh, and each frame, let us imagine each frame to be of 1 KB and user process to be 10 KB. Then is it that we have to allocate, the OS has to allocate 10 KB memory, 10 KB, 10 frames, where each frame is 1 KB is to be allocated to the user process or just five is enough or two is enough. So all these things have to be uh, considered by the operating system. So that is what we are going to see in this. Let us consider a single user system. Single user system means let us imagine only one user process is running there. Already operating system also will be there. So operating system occupies some space and the user process. So let us consider this case. Consider a single user system with 128 KB of memory and page size to be 1 KB. So which means frame size is also 1 KB. Already we have seen the page size and frame size must be equal in order for the user process to, to swap into the main memory. So here page size is 1 KB, which means 127 fra 128 frames. Okay, because each uh, frame is of 1 KB. So if you divide this by 1 KB, you will have 128 frames. So now let the operating system occupies 35 frames. That is 35 KB, so it occupies 35 frames. So if you minus 128 frames, total 128 frames minus 35, which is occupied by OS, you will have 93 frames for the user process. Initially, all the 93 frames are free and uh, suppose consider the user process is of uh, 100 KB. Now, first 93 pages will be, will create page fault because there will be no page in the main memory. Uh, after the one by one page only uh, will be occupying the frames. Uh, after, uh, the operating system will swap each page and then uh, it will be uh, loaded into the frame in the main memory. So for that, the page fault occurs. First page is loaded, then it finds that second page is not there. Then a page fault occurs. Now an IO is initiated. Now the data from the, the that particular page will be uh, loaded from the secondary storage into the main memory and so on. Now the 94, 93 frames, imagine all the 93 frames are occupied. Now the 94th page has to be loaded. Now the page fault occurs. Now where it will place? Because already 93 frames are occupied and there is only 93 frames. Now the 94th page has to be brought in. Now what is the operating system written in? There comes a page replacement algorithm which you have already seen, whether it is LRU approximation or LRU or FIFO or optimal page or counting algorithm, whatever it is, it will, it will decide the page replacement algorithm. So this how the page uh, frames are allocated in a single user system and always, it is better to have a suggestion is always better to have a, at least three frames free. So for the immediate allocation. So immediately one free frame. So among 93 frames, all the 93 frames should not be allocated. Minus less three. So only 90 frames are allocated. So by the time one is brought in, uh, that can occupy the free frame. And, uh, by, and it can decide among the 90 frames, which frame has to be uh, swapped out into the secondary storage. So like that it can decide. So for that, a temporary of three frames has to be kept always free for the immediate allocation. Now, okay, this is for user, uh, single user system. Imagine there are many users. Uh, let us take here for an explanation purpose. Let me take two user systems, two user process or that. So multi-user process, multi-program. Multi In that case, how the operating system decides who has, who, uh, for one process, how much frame has to be allocated. For the other 
uh, user process how much frame has to be allocated all this has to be decided so as the number of frames allocated to each process decreases when you keep on reducing the number of frames allocated to each process the page fault increases that we have already seen in the previous thing so which slows down the process execution thus decreasing the because when the page fault is more most of the time is spent only on transferring of data from the secondary storage into the main memory so that's what that is page transfer so in it decreases the performance of the system uh, especially when there is indirect addressing the imagine there is an indirect addressing that is one page let us imagine first page is loaded that page is referring some third page then now that third page has to be loaded okay so from the third page it is referring some other page so if you find a location say for example indirect addressing in the case not only it will not satisfy with one page at least minimum three page if it is an indirect addressing at least some three say three level of uh, indirect addressing is that then three pages has to be loaded so all these things has to be considered so you have to keep a restriction in the uh, indirect addressing level so maximum suggestion is maximum of 16 level can be allowed so how it can be keep track a counter can be kept that has a value of 16 and when the first level of indirection takes place uh, the value will be 16 then that page when it is referring another page then the 16 will be decreased to 15 then when it is referring another the 15 will be uh, decreased to 14 and so on till it becomes zero so when it becomes zero that means it has reached the maximum level and 17th page fault which now it, it will take place because of the 17th level uh, multi-level reference in that case a, a trap to the operating system takes place indicating that uh, it's over so uh, if it is not done then it will keep on doing some indirect addressing so we have to restrict the multi-level uh, indirection so in that way uh, the minimum number of frames allocated uh, to a particular uh, page can be calculated. So, uh, for example, a load instruction on page 16 can refer to an address on page 0, which is an indirect reference to page 23. In this case, paging requires at least three frames per process. So, now we will come to the allocation scheme. Or, uh, there are may, ma major allocation schemes, uh, allocation of frames, uh, or there are two types. One is fixed allocation or equal allocation, and another one is priority allocation. So, what is the equal allocation or fixed allocation? Let us take an example. Consider 93 frames and 5 process order. So, if you divide the 93 frames by 5, you get 18.3. That is, so you each process can be can get 18 frames, and the remaining three frames can be kept for uh, as a free frame buffer pool. So any one of this requires one more uh, extra after the five, uh, after the 18, if we, any other process requires 19 from this free pool, that is the three, where three frames are there, one can be requested by the process and it can be allocated to that. So the easiest way to split M frames among N process is to give everyone an equal share, that is M by N. That is said to be the equal allocation. But in this case, there is a problem. Because each process requirement is different. One process may require a small amount of memory. Another process may require large amount of memory. In this case, if you give equal allocation, the one which is allocated for a particular process may not be used. It is wasted. So consider the example. A student process requires 10 KB. An interactive database process requires 127 KB. And the system is with 62 free frames. Now, how to allocate as far as this equal allocation, the total free frames divided by the number of process. So 62 by 2 is 31. Whereas the user student process requires only 10 KB. And this requires 127 more. But it does not make sense to allocate 31. According to this, if you divide it by error, so equal allocation, you will allocate 31 uh, frames to the student process where whereas it needs only 10 frames okay it doesn't need 31 frames so the remaining 21 frames is wasted it can it cannot be allocated to any other things so what happens this 21 frames can be allocated to this database process providing a 
51 sorry yeah 31 plus 20 51 51 frames can be worked so you know a, this type of problem arises in equal allocation so to solve these types we go for proportional allocation what is proportional allocation uh, judging how much each process may need based on that you allocate the free frames so here proportional allocation uh, if this is what a uh, equal allocation one more example is given so for proportional allocation allocate according to the size of the process let the size of the virtual memory for process p be sa pib sa pib pib I, I can have take value from 0 to uh, or 1 to n where n is the number of process okay sa is the size so if SA is the size of the process PI, now how can you uh, add a total as it is nothing but say for example five user process are there, but each process uh, size is SI, S1, S2, S3. So five process means one, two, three, four, S1, S2, S3. If you add all those things, you will get the total uh, size of this uh, virtual memory. That is uh, the user process, total virtual uh, user process. Now let us consider M equal to the total number of frames now how you can find for each process how much frames are needed so that can be calculated with this formula a frames it is nothing but for a particular user process allocation for this pi the a is number of frames of the, this particular pi this particular user so that can be followed by uh, uh, multi uh, that is dividing the that particular user uh, request divided by the total uh, that is what we have found here into yeah, that is number of frames okay total number of frames for that particular uh, system so let us consider this example m equal to 64 which is the total number of frames and sa for the one user it is 10 and for s2 uh, another user it is 127 so for uh, the process one that is a1 this one how much you can have proportional you have to find so 10 divided by 137 s is total that is s uh, summation of SA, which is nothing but if you add these two, you will get 137. So 10 by 137 into M is total frames, 64. So nearly it comes around approximately 5, 5 point something, but you can allocate 5 frames. So the user who needs 10 KB, 10 uh, frames, he can be allocated 5 frames. For the user with 127 divided by 137 to 64, you get 59. So for this user, you can allocate 59 frames at a time. So an equal uh, proportional share proportional allocation can be done priority allocation among the proportional allocation you can follow the uh, priority allocation that is so in this case what we are going to see is priority allocation it is nothing but an, uh, uh, an advanced version of the proportional allocation where in proportional allocation already we have seen according to the usage user space um, logical address space uh, the free frames can be allocated proportionally so in this one more additional can be done that is depending upon the priorities so for example one higher priority uh, process is that for that you can allocate uh, more free frames than the lower priority because this has to execute fast so if you allocate more frames then that will execute fast and can leave the uh, system whereas low priority which is takes for example backup and all they are also to be low priority they can take their own time and it is not that uh, they have to be given more free frame with the existing frames they can complete their jobs so if process pi generates a page fault select for replacement one of its frames okay the one which is allocated for that either you select it or select for replacement a frame from a process with low priority number so this can select a uh, frame from the low priority process already that particular priority so for example two processes are done one is high priority and this is low priority the second one is low priority the higher priority process can take the frame from the uh, allocated frame from the lower priority and it can complete Another one is uh, find the page replacement. Uh, two techniques can be used. That is uh, for selecting of the frames, free frames. One is a global replacement and another one is a local replacement. Just now we have seen the priority. 
So we will let that also will play in here. Global replacement. This process selects a replacement from frame, uh, frame from the set of all frames. One process can take a frame from another. That is, imagine some five processes are there, uh, and some free frames, uh, some frames are allocated for all those things. The one frame, one user process can select a frame from other process. Okay, uh, and it can be used for uh, its page which has to be swapped in from the secondary storage. So most of these things uh, is applicable for the high priority uh, process. They take frames allocated to low priority process. Here, but the problem is uh, it cannot control its own page fault. It keeps on the page fault will be more. Local replacement. Each process selects only from, uh, only its own set of allocated. It will not go and select a, a frames allocated for the other process. That is called local replacement.